Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Science and Nature. Let's get to it. Question 1. What is otology the study of? Is it A. Waves or wave motions? B. Prison management and criminal rehabilitation? C. The kidneys and their diseases, a branch of medicine? Or D. The structure, function, and pathology of the ear? The answer is D. The structure, function, and pathology of the ear. Did you know that the study of otology, which focuses on the ear's structure, function, and pathology, dates back to ancient times? The ancient Egyptians were known to have developed some of the earliest methods for treating ear ailments, showcasing the long history and importance of understanding this intricate sensory organ. Question 2. What is the name of a shape with four sides of unequal length? Is it A. Trapezoid B. Parallelogram C. Rectangle Or D. Rhombus The answer is A. Trapezoid Did you know that the word trapezoid comes from the Greek word trapeza, which means table? This is because a trapezoid resembles a table with one side shorter than the other, making it an apt name for this four-sided shape with unequal lengths. So next time you see a trapezoid, think of it as a geometric table. Question 3. Which of the following is a symptom of asthma? Is it A. Headache B. Fever C. Shortness of breath or D. Weight loss. The answer is C. Shortness of breath. Did you know that the term asthma comes from the Greek word asian, which means to pant? This is fitting as shortness of breath is a common symptom of asthma. The ancient Greeks believed that asthma was caused by an imbalance of the four humors in the body. Question 4. What are the two main types of bone fracture? Is it A. Hairline and fault line B. Curved and straight C. Open and closed Or D. Partial and complete The answer is C. Open and closed an intriguing fact about bone fractures is that the term open fracture used to be known as a compound fracture. The change in terminology occurred because the word compound was often associated with complexity, leading to potential misunderstandings in medical settings. This shift highlights the importance of clear and precise language in healthcare. Question 5. What is paleoanthropology the study of? Is it A. Prehistoric people and human origins? B. Interactions between organisms and geomorphological processes? C. Study of refuse and trash? Or D. Crime? The answer is A. Prehistoric people and human origins. Paleoanthropology not only delves into the physical characteristics and behaviors of our prehistoric ancestors, but also uncovers fascinating details about their social structures and cultural practices. By studying ancient fossils, artifacts, and DNA, paleoanthropologists provide valuable insights into the complex journey of human evolution and origins. Question 6. Who took the first practical photograph? Is it A. Emile Berliner B. Louis Daguerre C. Thomas Edison Or D. John Logie Baird The answer is B. Louis Daguerre Louis Daguerre, known for inventing the daguerreotype process of photography, took the first practical photograph in 1838. Interestingly, this historic image captured a view of the Boulevard du Temple in Paris. 
Due to the long exposure time required, only a single person getting their shoes shined appears in the bustling street scene. Question 7. What is the term used for a burn in which only the epidermis is affected? Is it A. A first degree burn B. A cut C. A flesh wound Or D. A contact burn The answer is A. A first degree burn did you know that first-degree burns, also known as superficial burns, can sometimes be identified by a characteristic redness and mild pain? These burns typically heal within a few days without leaving any lasting damage. So next time you accidentally touch a hot surface, remember it might just be a first-degree burn. Question 8. What is the chemical potassium nitrate often used for? Is it A. It is used as an ingredient in the production of glass, bricks, and ceramics. B. It is a poisonous gas. C. It is used in baking to stabilize egg whites. Or D. It is used in fertilizers, rocket propellants, and fireworks. The answer is D. It is used in fertilizers, rocket propellants, and fireworks. Potassium nitrate, also known as saltpeter, has a fascinating history beyond its modern uses. In the Middle Ages, it was believed to have medicinal properties and was used to treat various ailments like asthma and even impotence. Its versatility from medicine to pyrotechnics showcases the diverse impact of this compound throughout history. Question 9. What is symptology the study of? Is it A. Semitic cultures B. Plant diseases C. Hearing, a branch of medicine Or D. Life The answer is A. Semitic cultures Semitology, the study of Semitic cultures, delves into the rich history and languages of ancient civilizations such as the Babylonians, Assyrians, and Hebrews. Interestingly, Semitic languages like Arabic and Hebrew are among the oldest in the world, with a fascinating influence on modern society through literature, religion, and politics. As we bid adieu, remember, in the world of science and nature, curiosity is key. Keep exploring, discovering, and reaching for the stars. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Let's part ways for now, until tomorrow arrives. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.